Welcome to Studio Makeover part, what is it, five, six now? I've lost count. This time we've got a parcel from Edifier and today we're going to be upgrading like my studio sound system, mainly like the main editing rig sound system because often I'm editing with my headphones but actually to get the best kind of feel how the final video will sound on you know other devices it's best to have some kind of monitors and listen that way because I've often seen that when I've thought the background music is very loud for example then actual on the devices it doesn't sound that loud or vice versa so let's open up this box see what's inside oh there's something inside that I did not expect. Edifier earbuds. They're gonna match nicely with my new studio, you know, speakers. Ooh, true wireless stereo earbuds with active noise cancellation. That's pretty posh. High definition audio, call noise cancellation, 20 hour playback time, IP5, six dust and waterproof. I mean, this is very like Apple-like design. Oh, I'm a bit distracted, but I'm quite curious how do these sound, so... Uh... Okay, sorry, I got a bit distracted over here. Uh, let's just say my first impression is <laughs> seriously impressed. Not so much of like a flat EQ, but the bass on these is... It's like a big subwoofer in your ears, like your whole brain starts to go It feels like you're you're on the front row in a concert listening to these like deep bass Which is this is absolutely ridiculous. I've never heard any bass like from small headphones like these Thanks very much edifier. That's really really kind of you instruction manuals optical cable power cable smells a bit like pomelo inside <laughs> which is weird. Five pin XLR, or is it XLR even? Five pin, one of those. I think that's to connect those speakers to each other. The power adapter, USB-B, RCA cable, RCA, RCA cable. What is that? Hmm, like a little kind of remote, but to have it like on the desk wirelessly. Very beautifully packaged, very, looks very high end very high quality like there's a soft padding around here to protect this the speaker beautiful i wanted something that kind of would fit like my studio setup and as you can see in a moment once we set it up actually on my desk over there you can see that this wood kind of feel will match like the table and then the white will match you know the walls and things around looking over here we have the speaker out cable over here so volume treble and bass like eq two section eq aux pc usb optical coax power cable and let's have a look at this one here that's cool they have like little protection from the front so that no one actually pokes your uh, tweeters that is absolutely awesome oh there's a little mark on the front over here and on the back there is only the left speaker um, in so you know the special cable over here with five pin will connect in and you'll get signal and power with it I mean what we're we waiting let's set them up and do a little sound test then okay so before we're gonna start I want to show you like the actual current audio setup that I have so basically I have these monitors over here these are called sound dot speakers they're very high quality like hi-fi Bluetooth speakers type of thing the point is that you have to always like turn them on from the back because they actually have batteries inside and you have to have a charger over there and then when you leave them off when the 3.5 millimeter jack is connected then it just makes some noise these speakers are running into this little um focus right sound card over here so i have like the monitor volume over here and if i have headphones plugged in over here i can do the headphones and you know use the headphones so there's like a quick switch between headphones and the monitors depends whichever one i want to use so let's get rid of these over here and then put the new setup up because i know that the new setup is going to be so much better I just want to show you this cable because this cable didn't come within the box but I needed to buy this uh, separately so basically we have 6.3 millimeter jacks on one side and then RCA on the other side and that's what I'm going to connect to the speaker to the sound card uh, monitor out down there. Let's 
let's uh, do a little sound test then. The sound is quite nice actually I think they kind of fit perfectly in the um, kind of studio and like what I'm using these for because um, I've EQ'd them back as flat as I can like the bass and treble they're all like flat because I want to hear like as flat sound as possible because I want to know if like some white bass or lower frequencies are a bit you know too loud or booming or things like that but there is like a bass you know EQ in the back if you wanted to use that um, which is quite nice if you just want to enjoy it a little bit more just reach to the back put the bass up a little bit you can have that bass up and um, that's pretty cool they go quite loud here as well uh, and as much as loud as I put them I didn't hear any clipping so I'm quite happy with that so I think in terms of sound quality I'm like very happy with those speakers my PC on this side is white and then the white like walls are quite white then this white kind of speakers they fit really well especially with this wood design on the side and with the table they just fit in the setup okay so i like that i can easily change like up different um, sources as well so just if you didn't know it comes with this little pocket remote and uh, that we showed you earlier but it's really easy to change the source so as you can see over here it's on aux at the moment if I just press it, USB, uh, optical, Bluetooth. But it's cool to know that, oh, if I wanna just play something off the Bluetooth, I can literally link something to the Bluetooth uh, and that's that. Now, there is only one little downside that I kinda like to mention, which is a little bit of the build quality. So in terms of the circles over here, can you see those circles are actually quite rough cut. So you can see little scratches around here and like, for 240 pounds or 250 pounds, I'd expect these circles to be quite perfect. Not too much on this speaker, actually. That speaker seems quite uh, a lot better in terms of the front. Um, but there was like a little mark on the front over here. Yeah, you can see a little black mark on the front when it came. But this one, that's quite horrendous, actually. I would have expected this to be perfect. Apart from that, I like them quite a lot. Now, there is a little bit of a hiss when they're on. You can only hear it when you're really looking out for There's a little like a over there. Apart from that, I'm very happy with the new sound setup for my speakers because now if someone else wants to edit or I can hear it or if I don't want to use the headphones anymore, I can easily switch between the speakers and the headphones of the system, which is very nice and compare my final audio, you know, mix with the speakers, which is much more accurate what people would be hearing. So I'm liking the sound quality. I'm liking what they look like. They fit into my setup very well. That's it. If you want to check them out, the link for these are in the description below. If you have any other ideas or, you know, questions or things like that, I'd love to hear from you. I'll meet you in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. It actually makes a difference. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.